Hello babies, good morning. It is your one and only, it is your girl Lady Mocha. You know I'm representing Cafe de Paris. You know I'm going to always pour you a cup of truth and I'm always cut you a slice of knowledge. Y'all know that's how I operate. First off, let me start off by saying I love all of my supporters. I love all of my followers. I appreciate y'all reaching out to me, encouraging me, giving me positive feedback. I appreciate each and every la each and every one of you. Uh, my subscribers have been growing significantly. So that shows me that um, overall, even with the negative um, feedback, that it doesn't outweigh all of the positivity that I have been receiving. So, with that being said, if, I, if, if I'm reaching a few of you, even if it's just one or two, that means I'm doing my job. So, I'm grateful for that. Now, in um, other news, I finally have um, created me an email, okay? Because a lot of y'all have been um, commenting and sometimes it's hard for me to... Uh, pretty much um you know dig through my comments uh in the event that you want to send me a message or you want to send me a comment or you have any questions for me I, I it's hard for me to filter through so many comments as there are so many subscribers that are uh, um constantly subscribing and commenting to me so i'm going to give you my email this is my email it's cafe de paris which is c-a-f-e-d-e-p-a-r-i-s 79 at yahoo.com okay that is my email all right so if there's certain topics you want me to do or you have certain situations that you would like for me to um pretty much uh aid you and aid you and assist you with it um you're welcome to use that email you'll have better chances of me getting back to you um through my emails than you do commenting under my vlogs because i'm getting way too many comments and stuff so i'm not going to be able to filter through um secondly i did not want to do this because sometimes when you um start doing paypals and start looking for donations people think you hard up people think you need uh, money for your light bill think you need money for a babysitter think you need money to purchase some new hair bundles i really did not want to do it but i have so many followers who are saying you need to collect monetary because of the type of messages you do the type of um the type of knowledge you have been providing and presenting um you should you should do some re receive some type of monetary so i kind of thought about it and i said well you know what if i have more than one person telling me that that may be something i want to consider so for those of you who do want to submit something i don't care if it's a dollar two dollars five dollars or if you don't want to receive uh submit anything but you want to keep receiving my knowledge that is quite all right with me okay my main thing is as long as you like and subscribe even if you don't send any donations i'm okay with that i'm still going to provide you um with my knowledge i'm still going to serve you with the truth so it doesn't matter to me um i'm not doing this for monetary gain um i'm not doing this because i need help with my light bill or i need gas in my car or daughter need money for her field trip or anything you know uh, there's I, i'm not you know i'm not um in a bad position where i'm looking for donations because i need help but for those of you who love what i do who want to continue to keep seeing me growing who want to support your girl you are more than welcome to do it my new paypal account is paypal.me forward slash cafe de paris and i'm going to put that under on the bottom of of my video anyway i'm going to put that in the uh I'm going to put the link down below for my email and also my PayPal account, okay? So, for those of you who want to bless me, that's fine. That's awesome. For those of you who don't want to bless me, who don't want to submit anything, that is quite all right. Y'all still my friend. I'm going to still look out for you. I'm still going to serve you truth on the platter. You know how I operate, okay? So... We're going to move forward with that. I just wanted to present that information to you because a lot of people I've had, um, I had people reaching out to me wanting to do a show with me, wanting to do live with me and things of that nature. So that's my email. Hit me up. That way I can let you know when I'm available to meet, meet up with you or when we can do some things together. Because I feel like 
um, as a social commentator. I feel like if all social commentators would get together, um, you know, we can do some magic. You know, sometimes two heads are better than one. So I don't mind vibing with somebody that's on the same intellectual level as me, as long as they're respectful and not trying to put me on a show to make a mockery out of me or for, for entertainment, then I'm okay with that. I'm all up for it. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to move forward. This morning, I wanted to talk to all of you out there about relationships, okay? Because a lot of y'all are still trying to resuscitate these dead relationships. I mean, it's over. It been over since, um, uh, you know, uh, Harriet Tubman deceased. That's how. That's how done. That's how old. That's how beyond expiration. A lot of these relationships are okay. Oh no, disrespect to Miss um, Tubman. But on that note, uh, I wanted to do a topic on this because I know there's a lot of people um, that are in unhealthy relationships and they don't want to accept that the relationship is over um a lot of people are still trying to give life and still trying to resuscitate their relationships okay and um this goes for both men and women okay because it's some of you brothers out there that are still trying to hold on to women that are not good for y'all and um you know, a lot of people hold on to relationships for different reasons, okay? Both men and women. One reason is a lot of people, especially with women on this, women fear starting over. Women fear starting over, especially when they have invested years. When they have invested children, when they have invested their feelings, women do not like to start all over, okay? Because basically when you start all over, it's like you have to relearn. It's like, uh, you know, um, starting, repeating first grade all over again. You got to relearn this person, relearn their habits, rebuild trust. A lot of women do not want to step out of their comfort zone with that uh, the majority of the time once a woman has gotten accustomed to how her man is even if he's a cheater even if he's a liar even if he's abusive you know um when women um we love hard so um we will find any reason to try to remain complacent in relationships even if it's unhealthy for us okay because it's just that fear of starting over um the second thing too is for why women you know sometimes are holding on to their relationships is because they fear if they let go of that man that man is going to get himself and get get himself and get his act together with a whole nother woman that has not sacrificed and has not given near as much as she has okay no it's like giving a car away when you the one who done made all the payments you done paid the car off now you got the title you the one that did all the maintenance to keep the car going you know and and here it is you know it's time for you to upgrade or get you a better vehicle because you put so much into that car you're so afraid the next person is going to benefit from all of what you have contributed. And that's the same thing with relationships. A lot of women are holding on to dead relationships. Because they um, they are so afraid. Let me tell you something fellas. That's more painful. Uh, that's more painful. The most painful thing to any woman. Let me tell you it was gut wrenching. To any woman. Is when she sees you get yourself together. But you decide to do it with a whole nother person that is like the number one killer for the majority of women that are in their relationships a lot of women hold on to their relationships because they are so afraid that that man is going to leave them and become a better man with the next person that has not invested near as much as she has you know and that's very scary for a woman you know and for women who are doing this what a lot of women have a hard time understanding is that we some women are so concerned that if they let go this man is going to step his game up with the next woman not understanding that sometimes it's not always he's stepping his game up because 
is is someone different sometimes some people have a way of bringing out the best in you that others cannot let me give you an example of this you may have a woman who's been with the man for five maybe eight years in a relationship okay she has given it her all she has been with this man for years she has invested children um uh, she, she had a lot of people that was dead set against her from being with him in the first place so she felt like she had to fight even harder to keep the relationship together to prove a point to other people that she she's going to make it with him they're going to get somewhere and all of that so um you know the woman you know who has endured all of this to try to keep the relationship together basically she's not understanding that even though she's been with this man a long time she feels like years and children whatever else she has invested in him should be it should have been enough to keep the relationship going but sometimes what women are understanding is a relationship killer is when you have not helped for that man to grow meaning that even though you've been with him all of these years and you've put all this time and effort into him you have not done nothing any different over the years so now he's looking at the relationship like a stale like it's meaningless it's becoming like groundhog day you know you ever been to a job with the same routine every day every day every day every day eventually you're going to get bored you're going to lose interest because there's nothing new to keep your mind stimulated and we have a lot of women a lot of females that keep um that keep providing the same mediocre um wants and needs in a relationship and they keep wondering why it's not working why he doesn't seem interested why why is he considering like the thinking the relationship is dull and has no spark in it because a lot of y'all are not growing okay you're not you're not mentally stimulating him you know in other words there's some relationships where what you what used to work at 20 is not going to work at 30 what used to work at 30 is not going to work when you get 40 in other words the older you get your needs start to change a lot of a lot of women out there are still providing here it is they're in their 30s and 40s with these men when they met these men in their 20s not in their 30s and 40s and they are still providing the same thing they've been providing when it was in their 20s okay you know it's time to step the game up it's time for you to, to take the relationship to the next level you know uh that that is one of the reasons why relationships get stale there is no growth now you have a lot of women who really you know uh are, are emotionally affected when that man they have put all their time and energy into seems to get with the next woman and do things better do things different it is because she's bringing something out of him that obviously you wasn't bringing out of him now keep this in mind now i'm not going to use this as an excuse for every situation because you have some people that are just straight greedy okay some people no matter how much you give them how much you do for them they're still going to look for somebody else on the outside to keep compensating so now so, so so for some brothers ladies you'll never win them over no matter how dedicated no matter how loyal you are some of these men you're not going to win them over because some of them are just still players and some of them still like to have their cake and eat it too and in other cases it's not so much there's another woman you know a lot of women think because a man is no longer into them or showing interest that it automatically has something to do with another woman it is not always another woman sometimes it is just you you are dry more dry than two you know three day old bread okay that's been sitting out you know some some of y'all have not grown up you're still acting and acting and carrying on the same way you was in your 20s here it is that you in your 40s you still drama you know you still hard to communicate with you know there's just no growth it, it's it's all kind of reasons for why relationships cannot move to the next level but as the saying goes some people could bring out the worst in you and others bring out the best in you sometimes we can't pull out of people what other people can i know a lot of women who have gotten disappointed mm. 
coffee, coffee is delicious. I know a lot of women who have gotten disappointed because, again, they've been with a man for years and have not seen no growth and see him go over there. And he's only been with this person a week or two and already he's doing things you never could even get him to do. You know, because you have some women, they have high expectations. But if you're one of those women, you're so concerned with keeping your relationship, then you are actually growing in it. You're just going to be in a relationship that you're going to end up losing anyway. Because even if you never grow up, he's growing. And especially if he's found interest in someone else that's making him um, see things in a different light that's broadening his horizons and here it is you still the same plain Jane you know he come home too you know you looking for the bill money you looking for the you know you, you wait for him to get home so you can let him know uh, how many bills are due um, he's coming home too uh, no peace, no order in the household, children running all over the place, um, house is nasty, dinner's hardly ever cooked, and we're not gonna go into the bedroom and some of y'all are uh, pitiful in that area, you know, um, you're, you're not trying to, um, come up with new things to spice it up to make it interesting um you you know uh, sometimes as women we let ourselves go you know um we don't take care of ourselves the same in some cases we don't keep up with our hair we don't keep up with our nails we, we just we let go of ourselves the same way the same the same thing we did to get them we don't keep doing it to keep them at the same time you know so um, again, that's uh, that's that's one of the re things women fear, which is why they hold on to their relationships. They are so afraid that man is going to step his game up with the next woman. And in some cases, that can very well happen, sister girl, because you have been been with him so long, you have become so routine and then some of you are so sure of yourselves y'all are so sure that he ain't going nowhere i got all his kids he ain't going nowhere i've been with him 20 30 years a lot of y'all overestimate your companion and figure because you got all you don't bulk him down with eight kids and you don't bulk him down with all these responsibilities he's not going nowhere and that's not true um that's another fatal mistake there's a lot of women and i'm gonna do a video on this on specifically on this topic one of these days it's a lot of females that are having babies um to hold their relationships to preserve their marriages to preserve um dead relationships not understanding that all it does is add more weight to a rocky foundation if you are starting to notice even in a hollywood trend it's becoming a hollywood trend and this is nothing new women have been doing it for years um from the beginning of time i mean go talk to your grandmothers if you're fortunate and still have them living um go talk to your older aunts you know talk to people from the 60s and the 70s era they'll tell you women have always tried to use children um as a, a tool to keep their relationships or their marriages together and what i am starting to notice is that a lot of these women when you can always tell when a woman has a rocky relationship has a shaky relationship here comes all the babies out the blue here comes the twins here comes the babies here comes all of a sudden all the babies the babies the babies start becoming produced and he's dead relationships because what happens is when a woman feels like she's on her last leg especially if her companion is already cheating on her or he's dealing with someone else and that woman still wants to fight and keep that relationship together she thinks she can get that man to change his mind and act right for her as long as they have a child together not understanding that all it does is complicate the, complicate the situation because now this man is feeling double stoked and in many cases even if you have 30 or 40 children you know some men when they have had enough they will leave anyway they will, they will gladly pay the child support and keep it moving so some, some of y'all not understanding you're not doing any justice by producing children um to try to preserve your relationship okay first of all relationship starts with that man and starts with that woman that man and that woman has to be on the same key okay i've known some couples who don't have no children 
okay and have a relationship that is just as solid and strong as ever and i've seen other relationships where they had five six seven eight nine children in that man you know he still had to leave like you know what i can't do this i love my children but i got to make a move okay children ladies children do not keep a man if you know your relationship is already rocky and you both are not on the same key, do not bring another innocent individual into your mess until y'all get that stuff straightened out. Okay? I mean, everybody's different. You know, you have to have wisdom. You have to have good judgment. Okay? Um, when, when you're so desperate, trying to do whatever you can whatever it takes to keep this person in your life what people are not understanding is if a person does not want you you cannot make them want you you will become frustrated trying to make somebody want you who is not feeling you the same way you're feeling them okay and in some cases it goes the same way with men you have some men that have a hard time with rejection they're not as bad as women are with it you got some men that have a hard time with rejection and sometimes you know they want so badly for that woman that they love or care about to be a good woman to the point not all men but some of them can't handle the rejection to the point that they feel like they have to abuse this woman to try to get her to act right they feel like they got to put their hands on her they got to slap around they got to physically hurt her because they love her so much they want to hurt her and make her and then you got some of them they just straight abusive they got nothing to do with love they just got to put their hands on a woman either way i don't care what the reason is when you start having abuse come in your relationship late, late, same thing with the men if your woman is feeling comfortable putting her hands on you because she feels like you're a man you're not going to hit her back because you're a humble type of guy she know you wasn't raised to put your hands on women anytime physical abuse starts becoming a habit in a relationship as a man you need to leave as a woman you need to leave because it shouldn't take all that to get a person to be humble to you if i got to slap you around and knock you down to make you i don't need to be with you it's just as simple as that you know you want a relationship where there's going to be tests there's going to be challenges but you want peace you want to be able to genuinely have a uh, have a cool calm easy going relationship okay because it's bad enough when you both leave the leave leave you know at the facility of your homes when he goes to work when you go to work when y'all leave those doors y'all have to fight the world as it is okay as a man it's all kind of stuff he has to deal with outside of his home to, to keep his business going to stay on his job as a man you got your own challenges as a woman you have your own challenges it's things you have to fight with um you know how he knows on the job being difficult with you it's all kind of things that both men and women are dealing with so the last thing you need is to come home to hell you know arguing fighting drama you know it's, it's always the argument over the most pettiest things you know there's nothing when we're arguing and disagreeing but it's a problem if you keep disagreeing and fighting over the same thing if you're going to fail at something fail in a new area in your relationship okay it's time to argue over something different it's time to fight over something different if y'all still having the same argument about the same thing that three four years ago there's no growth okay so you know keep that in mind you know that you cannot make somebody want you you know you will become frustrated trying to make somebody love you who no longer feels the need to keep fighting for you okay you're going to feel like you're on a losing end it's kind of like being in a ring and you fighting against uh like a boxer like floyd mayweather or whatever and here it is you're doing all the fighting you're doing all the fighting and he's just standing there with his arms folded with his boxing gloves on and his arms folded he's not fighting you back so you're getting winded doing all the boxing because you're trying to fight for something and he's not fighting for it he's not fighting for the relationship it's so many women yo you know these men you know this man is not the same man he was when you first got with him 
You know he's not really feeling you like that. You know he's only dealing with you because, um, you know, maybe right now financially he's not doing that well. And, you know, he knows you're willing to accept him, you know, at his failures. It's, in other words, it's not really a genuine reason for why he's still with you. But some of y'all, again, are so scared. That if you let him go, he's going to do better with someone else. And that very well may be. But holding on to him doesn't mean that he's going to see the light and treat you any better. So, again, you know, stop. You, you, you have to realize you have to let some things go. You know, uh, that way you can grow and he can grow as well. But some of y'all, y'all rather stay with that person and be miserable. Then to see him move on and be happy with somebody else. I mean, it's just crazy. I mean, if you know a man is not feeling you, he's still texting other women. He's still acting, you know, funny and icky some days like he don't want to be in your presence. And you still fighting to be with him. I don't understand that, but oh well. Um, Another uh, issue with... Um, trying to resuscitate their relationships is um, sometimes there's just been too much disrespect for the relationship to keep going okay and I'm going to give you some examples of this teeth and tongue will fall out you're going to argue you're going to have disagreements it's going to be days you cannot stand seeing the side of her panties um, um, you know soaking in, and soaking in the um, bathroom sink it's going to be days where you can't stand seeing the skid marks in his drawers. Y'all just, just going to be days y'all can't stand each other. You get on each other's nerves. That's natural because you're both human. But, again, you're going to have your bad days. But the problem with a lot of relationships is that there's been too much disrespect to the point it's almost not even worth saving, okay? And again, there's, let me put it this way. It's one thing if you have had one or two short mishaps. And it's another when you had one or two long, extensive mishaps. Okay, so let me uh, go a little bit deeper into what I'm um, saying. Let me cl clarify this a little bit more. When there's been too much disrespect, when a companion has been involved sexually with too many other people besides you, uh, or that companion has been involved as far as claiming other people claiming other people and basically if you're if you and your um if you and your man or you and your husband whatever have had issues and every time there was an issue this he always stepped out and got involved with women now this wasn't a one time thing this has been two three four five times and it hasn't been spaced out it's not like okay he did this at 18 years old when y'all just got together okay and then he stopped and maybe again at 23 24 because he was still immature so forth so forth once you start hitting your 40s and y'all both are still doing that every time there's a problem relationship he steps out you step out you going to bed with other men he's going to bed with other women that you have basically tainted your relationship is tainted. You have trashed it. You have put two, you have contaminated your relationship to the fullest extent to where it's almost not even healthy anymore. It's almost not even worth preserving. Okay. It's one thing you have one slip up, you know, and I don't really, cheating is cheating. It's just totally wrong. But I would be lying if I say, you know, uh, that. You know, it never happens because it does. And some some relationships have been able to move forward. Actually, cheating has helped. <laughs> I know I might lose some bright points, but cheating has helped some people to realize what the hell they had. 
You know, sometimes you get used to that person being with you and being there for you. You don't care. You know what I mean? And sometimes it's you, you, you have to be reminded when you see that person, see somebody else is treasuring that person the way you used to treasure them. It kind of becomes a reminder to you like, oh man, you know, I had, I had something pleasant and great all that time. You didn't see it. You know, it's kind of like if you far up close on the TV screen, you can't see it. You can't really get a good view. But if you're sitting all the way back and you can see the full picture, you can see clearly the whole situation within itself. So that's pretty much um, how, uh, you know, how, how um, relationships go. You know, some of y'all have disrespected each other too much to the point you almost can't even save it. You both have cheated on each other numerous occasions you both have disrespected each other physically by putting your hands on one another the kids don't see you fighting throwing knives throwing dishes i mean come on when a relationship gets to that point and it's not to say you know when you young and immature and starting out with a relationship and y'all both don't know how to handle your emotions that's what them 20 and 21 year olds do that's young and dumb who don't have any control over their emotions when you start hitting your 40s and you still fighting like y'all both in high school, y'all still doing a Tina, Tina Turner and Ike. Something is wrong with that whole situation. Because y'all both are too damn grown to have to be putting your hands on each other to make that person do what you want them to do. It shouldn't escalate to that point. One, there's been too much disrespect. Ain't no need to sit up there playing with it, pretending with it. Somebody gonna have to hold up a truce flag and wave it and say, you know what? We need to go our separate ways. It's just too much disrespect. Another thing, if your companion is bad enough when somebody has already cheated on you, okay? It is bad. It's terrible, okay? It's very painful experience to be cheated on. Anybody who's ever experienced it knows exactly where I'm coming from. So, when this person has stepped out on you, not only have they already stepped out, which was wrong, but they had the audacity to claim this person and acknowledge this person. Now, you have taken it to another level because it's no longer just a physical thing. It's an emotional thing. You have feelings for this person. Let me tell you something. You can't do nothing with somebody once they have gained feelings. You, you can't do nothing with that. Feelings are something you can't get rid of, okay? Say yo, you and your companion had a rough, bumpy moment. Y'all decided to separate. And instead of this person taking that separation as self-evaluation to see, okay, where am I going wrong for? Why am I, why has my relationship, why has my marriage gotten to this point to where we can't see eye to eye? You taking that time to, 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 to uh, you know what I'm saying, to do you. You taking our time to deceive people, you know, you, 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 you laying up with other people, you know, you know what I'm saying? You, you call it taking a break instead of you doing self-evaluation. And sometimes when a lot of people do that on break crap, that's when the most craziest things happen. That's when babies come out the blue. That's when you end up meeting somebody psychotic that you can't get rid of. Instead of you taking that period. And that time to be alone and figure out what you need to do to make your relationship better, you go bring somebody else in. Because sometimes your intent may be, you know, I, I'm not trying to be in love with nobody else or nothing like that. I just kind of need to relieve, relieve, release some tension and relieve myself because there's so much drama over here. So you go deal with this person or whatever. And you end up getting more involved than what you plan to. You may end up actually catching feelings because like I said in one video where Carl, she misses the benefits, you know, um... You, that may be your original intent, but sooner or later, depending on how deeply involved you get with this person, you may actually end up catching feelings. You may end up falling in love with the person, especially when things are going so bad over here. Sometimes the worse things are in your relationship, the, the better it looks with anyone or anything else. If you're doing that bad, it don't take much for the next person to make you feel like you better off with them. You know, because you're in a bad space in your relationship. You know, so 
When you start claiming other people and saying, this my new woman, this my new man or whatever, and you still haven't really settled the score, you have not officially told this person that it's over, you're done with them, you using this person to spite uh, the person that you're having a hard time with, you know, that's how drama, that's how, uh, that's how folks end up on 48 hours, um, crime investigation shows and episodes. That's how you end up in, 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 you know, in, um, situations like that where somebody get killed or somebody get hurt. Cause now you're bringing in too many people. And everybody, you can't play with people's emotions all kind of way. That's why, in a sense, it's always not even worth cheating anymore. Back in the days, you used to could cheat, get away with it. Back then, women was all right with being your second or third. And she ain't made no big deal out of it. Back in the 60s and 70s, a, a woman could mess with another woman's husband, which is something you're not supposed to do. But let's just keep it real. People, marriage don't stop people from stepping out there. If they want to step out there, they're going to step out there regardless. But back then, at least people had some type of decency to stay in a lane, you know, that side chick knew when that man goes home, don't call his phone, don't bother him, she know, she had to wait uh, for him to schedule an appointment with her, like at a doctor's office with a secretary, she already knew she had, he had a wife, there was boundaries that she could not intercept, but what's going on now, fellas, and that's why you have to be careful, these side chicks, they're on a whole nother level, you know, they, they might get up with you and act like, you know, they can understand your situation, sympathize with your situation, well, I know you married, and, you know, I'm just looking to have a good time, too, you know, I'm not trying to cause no trouble, yeah, she may say that initially, but it's one of those things where the more you know you can't have something, for some strange reason, the more you desire it. Okay, she may try to convince herself and she may really mean at that time that she's not really dealing with you because of that, even though she shouldn't even really be dealing with you knowing you got a wife. But a lot of these women, again, and like I said, you know, these emotional creatures, they can't, they, they know they can't even handle being involved with you, knowing in their heart they really want a relationship. They try to lie to themselves and say, well, I'm okay with just the sex. I'm almost, I'm okay with just dealing with you like that. But sooner or later, and if some of you fellas want to co-sign on it, those of you who want to be honest and tell the truth, you know if you've been in a situation like that. It always starts off like that. But eventually, she she's going to start catching feelings. Okay, after a while, you can't keep taking a woman to bed and keep thinking you can go on about your business because, you know, uh, the, 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 well, women ain't built like that no more. The, 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 there's too many women out there that are lonely, that are desperate, that are thirsty. You can't just lay up with these women all kind of way and figure they're going to be all right with that. Don't fall for that crap. I'm a strong woman. I don't need no man. I don't need, the, I don't need this. That's a crock of bull. I'm telling you, that's how some of y'all end up with some of the psychotic, um, the psychotic, delusional, um, you know, lowest common denominators. You know, they, and a lot of them ain't got to be ugly chicks, and a lot of them ain't got to be pretty project chicks, fellas. You know, it could be women that are very beautiful. Okay, beautiful women. You know, got nice bodies, you know, look beautiful to, to bring around like trophies, you know, and could be just as psychotic and mental as a, uh, as a, as a schizophrenic patient. And a, psychi a psychiatric warden. You know what I'm saying? I done told y'all, stop looking at how people look, you know, but, you know, again, that this is all a part of what I've been telling y'all. Stop giving life to dead relationships. You know what I'm saying? You know, you, you when you, when you get to the point where there's too much disrespect, you 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 not only messing around on your mate, but you actually claiming other people while you with this mate. You already know the that 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 that's that's not wise. You know, you you're going to create an atomic bomb sooner or later you know what i'm saying because people ain't taking it lightly no more you got a lot of people out there that's mentally mentally ill they're not going to sit up there and, and just let you take their feelings and do what you want to do with it and you run back home because you scared of them now you see they crazy you want to run back home to your safety net. You can't do that. It's been cases where men have done things like that and um 
Matter of fact, there's a case with a lady named Carla Huges. Y'all get a chance, YouTube her. Her name is Carla Huges. I mean, she was dealing with a married man, and it was a tragic ending, you know. Somebody, I told you guys, stop underestimating these LCDs, these low common denominators. Don't estimate them. They, they look good. They talk good. They talk like they got plenty of sense. And behind closed doors, they take a medicine for, um, you know, psychiatric illnesses you know what i'm saying so y'all got to be careful um and you know uh it, it, it's it really just boils down to the fact that um you know you have to really know when your relationship is over um people grow apart um some people as they get older, the outlook starts changing, you know. And um, the the last thing I recommend for anybody, when you know that person is not feeling that relationship, you see slowly but surely they they becoming more and more uninvolved, you know. Uh, and it's it's a lot of way to come uninvolved. They're not trying to date you. They're not trying to go out with you and have a good time. They're just kind of sitting around the house. They're always texting on the phone. They're always going on out. At, they're always going out at night without you. You know, you're not, you're just not participating as a couple doing things together. You know, you see them slipping right before your eyes. But because you are so afraid of being alone, are you so afraid that you're going to do better with the next person? You're going to fight it out and hang in there to all the to the end to still end up coming out on the losing end you have to know when your time is up with these relationships let me tell you guys something everything has an expiration date okay even life none of us are promised to be here forever everything comes with the expiration date even these dead relationships you know y'all are not growing together you know there's been too much disrespect there's been too much lies you know you don't trust him you know you don't trust her but y'all gonna try to hang in there anyway and meanwhile you both uh, are miserable because y'all can't stomach each other sometimes it's just too much water under the bridge sometimes you can't undo certain things certain things you just can't come back from it got nothing to do with she's a bad man or you a bad woman just you know y'all both probably had a good thing and um both of you just you didn't take care of it a relationship is like a baby you got to nurture your relationship you got to feed that relationship you got to hold that relationship you got to take care of it you got to maintenance your relationship a lot of y'all been stopped taking care of your relationship been stopped taking care of your marriages a long time ago okay you know, and again, relationships take a lot of work. If you're not the type of person that's willing to put in work, don't get involved in a relationship. Don't get involved in a relationship because you need your bills paid because you want you a father for your children or you just want a woman to look good on your shoulders because eventually uh it's going to come out in the light you know uh like pastor jakes was saying whenever two people get in a relationship with an agenda it's not going to last and that is the god's honest truth i know people who have held on to relationships out of spite and it has backfired okay so you don't want to do that um i may do a uh, part two on resuscitating dead relationships because i just really feel like it's too many relationships that are long overdue long overdue y'all both holding on because you scared or you both done become too comfortable you know and it, it it just has reached this breaking point you know and so until one of y'all a man or woman enough to say that it's going to continue to be the same way it is and that's just a god's honest truth somebody's going to have to step up either either uh make it keep going or go ahead and just end it you know don't try to force somebody to be with you who don't want to be with you because you're going to get aggravated and they're going to get aggravated and that's where all the disrespect comes in at and everything you know 
So with that in mind, I want to thank all of my viewers um, for tuning in to Cafe de Paris. You know, I don't spill much tea. I don't do much gossip about the celebrities in the Hollywood life. I don't even have that kind of platform. There's no way I'm, I'm, I'm not on that level as of yet. But, you know, I'm going to always um, pour you a cup of truth. I'm going to give you the real scoop on life, on situations, on relationships, because that is that, that, that is what I know. That's what I do best. So I thank all of you for tuning in and don't forget my email is underneath. I know that some of you guys been reaching out to me. You want to do shows with me? Hit me on the email. We got to make an appointment like, uh, like they's doing the WIC office or the welfare office you can't just roll up in there you got to make an appointment you get what i'm saying um also i have my pray pal for those who want to contribute uh i um only thing i would like to do is uh make my videos a little bit more professional i'm gonna get a real camera and stop doing this laptop thing so i got some ideas because i want to keep um, increasing, increasing, increasing my fan base so I can keep bringing y'all more and more knowledge. I got so much topics. Um, it's just so many to start from. So I love all of you and thank you for viewing. And Cafe de Paris, you know I'm always going to serve you the truth. Later and y'all have a blessed one.